Hey everybody, this is Pete from the Spinner Rack, and we also have Calvin Ellis ready to rock. Today we're going to have some trailers. You might know it's all the same day, but we're going to do <laughs> three trailers. So the next video probably won't start like that. So here we're going to get to what we call, what everyone knows as, what the hell is this? The Guardians of the Galaxy. All right. And this is volume three. They've already had their holiday special, which kind of, even though it, it was mainly a, more like a Drax and um, Mantis thing, but if um if um who's it um seeing uh, Engelhart is still mad they got back the martial arts into um into Mantis so she but they made her more of a fun character that I could watch because I couldn't really deal with her in the comic books but um any first thoughts before we watch this Cal not not a one all right so let's let it rip ready set and. <laughs> quite a while but no matter what happens next the galaxy still needs its guardians hello we come in peace <laughs> come on drax seriously dude no 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 Ow! <laughs> We have been running our whole lives. Pete, I'm done running. He'll know people. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. Now you're just making it sad. We got a long way to go before this thing comes out. What are you? Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness we have a long way to go before this comes out. Wow. I'm going to call you hater. Why do you say that? Oh, no. I want to see more because based on that trailer, I'm not intrigued to see this film. And I enjoyed both of the previous Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I haven't seen this special just yet, but I'll get I'll get around to that after I'm finishing up some other stuff that I've been stacking. But you know, as of right now, I don't know what the hook is or the draw. I mean, I'm not supposed to get that from a trailer. I understand this is more like a teaser. Uh, that quick glimpse of Adam Warlock, I'm like, I don't know. So <laughs> at this point. I'm just not enthused or intrigued to see the movie just yet, even though I know I'm going to see it. Um, one of the some of the uh, there's only some more cosmetic things. There's some bits that um Jim Starlin told us at a con that kind of feels like it's coming to, to fruition to this um, which um I don't want to spoil everything, but anyway. Feels spoil like it! Spoil it! Doing it, but it's like I don't. I'm not sure about having them have uniforms, like say the Fantastic Four and the X Men. I like them. Those are these, those were uniforms. I guess they have to be like they all got the same outfit on, and they got. Nav I thought that was like a. I thought that was like a gag. Like it was like you know, those look like like sanitation workers or something. I thought <laughs> that was a gag or something. Well, I mean, they have these things on, and so it's like I'm kind of. Um, Kind of, I don't not that's but that's more cosmetic, and um, that's a good um, twist. Even though it's easy to do, like you're any, you got tons of areas that don't got any people where you could film this. But it was a good twist here, so it looks like it can be fun. It's like a, it's still a slant saying like making it seem like this is it, 
like type of deal. All this stuff, like, but and I'm not sure who the villain is. The villain looks like a character that was in. Um, it was a space. There was a. Um, there was a. There was this villain that was in. Uh, kind of like looked like an astronaut that was in um, Nick Fury, his um, second issue, and like this guy here, he looks kind of like that, and that was a kind of Starenko pulling from a, a space story where he kind of one of the first. Um, black characters was introduced in the EC thing where they did like a regular, not like a uh, like a caricature of a black guy, just a regular looking black guy in a comic book. So it's really interesting for EC. It looks like they could be doing that, but I'm not sure. It could be them just saying some other villain and he's now a black guy. So there's not much we can say, but you know, as far as trailers go, it's okay. I'm just worried that Adam Warlock is now you know, I'm gonna. I know he's from a different race, so his whole background is different. His the original background was kind of um, more of a character being, you know, like a kind of an Adam itself, like the firstborn, this person in a cocoon that had all this destructive power that um, the scientists didn't know what he was, and then he comes alive and he's like this beautiful sort of male, but the first male that's introducing and feeling all these feelings and whatnot. And I guess it was kind of Kirby trying to get back to what he was doing with the Silver Surfer, but since the Surfer had now a new background, he was going to do something different. And But he kind of boxed up um, Alan War uh, Adam Warlock after um, the Fantastic Four and Thor. He goes away as a cocoon again. So, But, you know, we have the Starlin backdrop, so that introduced a whole lot of other stuff to his character. That's, I, that's same with, um, I think, uh, Roy Thomas, who did the first early story. So, who knows what we're getting with this. He's not the, you know, he's not the the same look as a guy, but they, you know, have an actor that everyone likes, so they you got to give them more roles, like that sort of thing. So I'm not sure about um Rocket having a, a girlfriend that looks exactly like him, but you got to do the do the Shrek brilliance, post Shrek, get someone exactly like him type of deal. But um, there, yeah, there we go, we got our guy. But no, my thing is, thank goodness they got Gamora because I was really not liking the team without Gamora. For some reason, it doesn't work for me. Even though I like all of the other characters, I'm glad that we got Gamora back in there. And um, I think, you know, the way to slant is like this is the end. Maybe you're seeing James Gunn going over there, or maybe they're just retiring these guys so they can do other things. I don't know. Maybe go animated, but like um, this is a, this is a fun sort of series. It's almost the way way Marvel redid them to get them into that classic sort of form. So they're similar to like the Micronauts, the Omega Man with the lead white guy, the the girlfriend, the monstrous characters. It has that sort of sort of dynamic, and then a couple other weird characters along the way. But it's a good dynamic to use. You know, it's a dynamic that kind of always works. That's why. You know, the initial Micronauts, um, Omega Men, this sort of thing works where the original ones were, you know, just sort of, um, it seemed more like an army. And like the original one didn't even, I don't think they had a female until later. They had a female character later, then they added a couple after that. So, you know, Gamora obviously is more of a, what was it, a Adam Warlock character. So, so yeah, it was, um, they turned into a ragtag bunch. And uh, comic wise, it wasn't that successful, but um, definitely movie wise. One of the bigger things. So, um, looking for, hoping for good things. The, the, for me, the holiday special worked out. It was, you know, it turned out to be, you know, silly, but it was, it worked out to be an okay sort of thing. It kind of starts off kind of rough. So, this hopefully will follow the same suit and not turn into a Suicide Squad. Oh, it's called The Suicide Squad, not Suicide Squad 2. So, um, I'm hoping for the best. Any last thoughts from you? I don't think we can be critical of Rocket's girlfriend looking like him since they're both raccoons. So, In the I mean, universe, that's... he only can find is another raccoon. What's his name? Got Gamora. <laughs> he can't find nothing else but another raccoon because we got to go Shrek way. We got to find a big green monster to match with the big green monster. But sorry. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. If not, we got to do a whole bit. Uh, I mean, I'm all for what is it you would like? Uh, oh, that's more Mixoplick and the girl he's with. But you know, you would have like the raccoon, and the raccoon would be like with the uh, you know the hot model type babe, you know that sort of stuff. 
but you know they can't do that gag anymore without people being without people being critical. So safest and the low hanging fruit is the girlfriend that he has in the comics, and she's a raccoon. Side note: um, one of the characters I I wish wasn't what they made her into when um, um, Fred Hembeck decided that Brother Voodoo would have Sister Voodoo, and I was like, whoa. His sister Voodoo, as the, the first drawing, I think wasn't by him, but it was written by Fred Hembeck. And I was like, oh, brother, sister Voodoo's a babe. It's like, oh no, sister Voodoo, Voodoo's actually his sister. How could he? He should be dating sister Voodoo. It's like, nope, it's his sister. It's like, damn it. <laughs> and, but um, uh, I was like, but he kept that character for a little while. So um, Yeah, I thought they went a little too far once we got to like Uncle Voodoo. That's going too far for me too. No, no I'm I'm joking. They never went that far. Yeah. <laughs> well, when they went I, I, him becoming the 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 sorcerer supreme, like uh, I think you were telling me that. I think you became the new Doctor Strange or whatever it was. But I don't know. Um, it looks okay. Looks all right. What can we say? Hey, we'll see how it goes. We'll get some more trailers coming down the pike. I'm not on. I'm not fully on board with Adam Warlock, but again. That's because of what I've seen in the comic as opposed to what they're going to do in these films. And it's been such a long time since Guardians of Galaxy 2 coming and with Guardians of the Galaxy 3 coming out, which is still not coming out soon. So, there's, you know, there was a lot of buildup for Adam Warlock. Uh, I mean, in the comic, Adam Warlock is Adam. He's supposed to be like Adam, like this uh, in terms of at least like you know like uh like the codex like the vitruvian man like this really perfected uh perfected form of a in, in terms of at least of a human looking being you know with despite the uh the gold coloring and such and then i'm looking at this with the suit on i'm like okay i don't know what these guys are going to do with him right here and they put in a lot i mean adam Warlock is one of these characters they put in a lot of work for because with his, his initial appearance in the fantastic four then through thor then marvel premiere and then he really gets like probably the best shine on him. I mean, he got his own series too. And then he gets probably the best light on him with the Infinity uh, with the Infinity Gauntlet series. So you know, they, that's a character who, you know, definitely got he got a lot of looks, and you know, was definitely liked because they really pushed him as opposed to say somebody else who, who could have uh, de- who could have definitely been used. So now when I'm looking at you know, I mean, again, it's a teaser trailer. It's you know, it's a quick shot, but I'm very curious as to how they're going to manipulate the character in this particular movie all right so check it out and we'll be back when there's some more trailers on this spin rack out